Have you heard this in your life before? I believe there's something out there, like an energy watching me. I feel it. It's the universe. It's the higher power. Yeah, I know many people like that and they really annoy me. One of them is my mother, but to be honest, she's fine. <laughs> Anyways, there's many people who claim this like, yeah, I, I, I feel connected to nature when I look at the tree or a mountain, but yeah, that's about it. I don't go further. Cool, so you feel there's an ultimate purpose to your life when you're looking at the mountain, plus you feel this sense of oneness with everything, but you don't explore it further and you stay in this level of life to just kind of look at things and buy things and get money and buy a house and car and stuff. So you don't really want to find out what the purpose of your existence is. Isn't that strange? Like when you have that connection and you just, eh, I don't want to hear it. So I think those people are just getting away with, uh, by calling this universe or higher power, just getting away with saying God, because they think God is actually like a human being with beard sitting on a cloud and just waiting for them. Now, I have an advice for you guys, and it's very simple. Stop associating that picture with the word God. God is energy. God can be entity. It is more than that, but like, it's not describable in that pure sense of the word. It's, it's impossible to describe. So just disassociate Jesus or whatever you associate with God and just leave that word there and say, when I look at the mountain, I feel God. All right, you've got somewhere. Now let's look at what is this feeling? Who is God? This energy exists and if it affects your life. You're meditating, you're maybe doing some yoga, you're doing something, you feel this, this sense of oneness, you feel this connection to other people, to, pe to the energy. Doesn't it make sense to study it more? I would actually argue it's the most important thing you can study because otherwise life becomes meaningless as and empty. It's very empty. It's our modern civilization is very like unfiltered. There's no meaning to it. There's no purpose. So you, people crave that and they have this feeling, but they don't go further explore it. So what I suggest you to do is to explore that feeling. And I have a suggestion specifically what you should be looking into. So my suggestion is very easy. Google a word Tawheed. It's on the screen. What it means is basically the concept of God or Allah in Islam. But basically just Google that concept Tawheed and just read on Wikipedia a few bullet points about what it means Tawheed. What, what does it mean? What is Tawheed? What is the oneness of God? And if you go through that and you find it interesting, I challenge you to pick up the Quran and read it. I mean, you will probably not be able to finish it in one day, but if Tawheed really moved you and if you feel like, okay, this actually explains everything I ever asked in this life, <laughs> Go and read the Quran. Be careful. Like you need to answer these questions because otherwise you will be always having these, your basic questions of life, like who are you? Where did you come from? What happens when you die? Will not be answered. And you will just kind of go through life, then die. And you will not know like, okay, what was this life about? So just be careful about this and really study it. So you can look into different religions, but I'm telling you, if you want real sense of like connection and something that makes sense, look into Tawheed. Once you study Tawhid and you figure out, okay, this is very compelling, let me learn more, pick up the Quran or start learning about Islam. And hey, I'm a Muslim, so of course I'm going to promote it. This is a really a good suggestion. So for people who are claiming there is a higher power, there is something, they meditate, they do Wim Hof, cold showers, all that nonsense. It's all great, but it's not getting you closer to that thing. Pick up a book, learn about Tawhid, and then you'll figure it out. Uh, I hope it's going to help you answer the most pressing concerns of your life and of your existence, especially what happens when you die. And how did you get here? And what was, what was the, really the purpose, the purpose of your life? You can watch some of my videos, of course, but I'm not an expert. So thank you so much. Uh, this was Jan. And uh, yeah, I hope I helped you. So we'll see some other time. Definitely subscribe for more content like that. And uh, yeah, I'll be in touch. See you later.